Good morning, everyone. If you've ever been camping, maybe in the middle of the woods or in a desert or maybe at a beach or camping somewhere, not, not the fancy camping up in a hotel room, but an actual camping on the beach or out in the wilderness, oftentimes you find trails everywhere. You find trails crisscrossing the campgrounds. You find a trail from maybe from your tent to the main restroom or maybe to a beach or to a trailhead or whatever, but you find trails all over the place. And these trails are the easiest thing to find in daylight. But the moment darkness falls and our sight begins to go, it becomes much more difficult to find that trail, to find the path that we once found and found easy to find. It becomes much harder when darkness falls. This is true also for the spiritual life. Sometimes early in our life, the path to Christ is very clear, the clearest it could ever be, and you know exactly what to do, what to say, what to like, how to find Christ each and every time, the path directly to him. And then later in life, sometimes multiple times throughout our life, this path becomes dark, and it's hard to see, it's hard to find, it's hard to think even of where to go or where to turn to find that path again. Luckily though, in, when we're camping and we're trying to find a path, we have flashlights, we have lamps, we have guideposts, we even, if we happen to get lost, we have leaders or campground attendants, all these people to help us. In the spiritual life, this is also true. We have priests, we have deacons, we have bishops, we have spiritual authors, we have all these people, all these things ready to point us back to the way that we have come or the way we're trying to find. And the man, blind man in today's gospel is in darkness, very literally until the moment he asks for Christ's help. For us here today, he serves as a model to be followed. When we find that we're spiritually lost somewhere along the trail, or maybe even haven't found the trailhead to even start our spiritual journey, all we have to do is ask for Christ's help because he will light the way and he will lead us on that path that leads us home to eternal life.